if you want to have clarity, get rid of brain fog, all the benefits. When you're doing things that are challenging to your body, your brain responds. Your brain is a control center of everything. So if you're stressing everything, your brain has to do more. You are working your brain and making your brain better. When you exercise, there are hormones and proteins that are activated in your brain that improve brain function. Hello, thanks for joining me today. I'm Coach Bronson. If you don't know me, I've been in the fitness and nutrition space for 10 or 12 years. I've been working with people, uh, helping them improve their quality of life for a very long time. I've owned a gym. I do things virtually. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do group programs. Uh, my focus is on helping people understand the importance of fitness and exercise and combining it with nutrition to get a really good picture and overall improvement in your quality of life. A lot of people are missing that. I've been doing some stuff recently with Dr. Sivas and he asked that I do a video that kind of talks a little bit about the specifics of what fitness can do to help specifically on people who are trying to recover from or manage carb addiction. So he's the carb addiction doc. A lot of the stuff that you know he works with that you guys know about is helping you break that cycle and build some new habits. And um, by removing carbs, reducing carbs, and we know that there are some things that can be challenging with that. If you know this or not, there are actually ways that exercise and fitness, having some kind of fitness routine and doing something to help your physical body improve can help you in your carb addiction management in that process. What I do want to focus on at the end is what it means to do something for your fitness. What does it mean? To, how do you get started? What does it mean to have a routine? That kind of stuff. Because I think that's the part that is really intimidating to people, um, not knowing what to get, what to do to get started, thinking that it's going to be more complicated than it actually is. It's not that hard to do something, having that, that block of an unknown aspect of what it's all about and being afraid of that. I and mean, that's really what it is. So first things first, we've got the first thing that it does is when you start an exercise routine, that is exactly what it is. It is a routine. You give yourself something that you're going to do on a regular basis. Uh, the idea of having a structure and a routine in your life is something that can be very beneficial to the process of managing an addiction. When you have idle time, I know for me personally, the times that I have the most mental struggles with cravings or with wanting to do something or with um, having a downtime, that's when I really want to go have a snack or I want to go do something that I know I shouldn't be doing. Okay. So if you can have structure, if you can set an expectation of you know what you're going to be doing throughout the day, this goes beyond exercise uh, in, in actuality, but uh, just in general, having structure, having routine, having an exercise plan following a program is something you can add into the other things you already have in your day that is going to kind of help keep that framework of consistent things going on throughout the day to keep your mind off of the stuff you don't want to be thinking about. So that's one thing. Just the idea of having that structure routine, you know that every day you're going to get up or every day when you get off work or every day at during your lunch break, whatever it may be, this is something that you're going to expect yourself to do. It's going to help you maintain that and build. Here's the other thing. It starts building that framework for a habit and you can start creating habit loops that are beneficial to you, not harmful to you. Okay. So that's one thing. Structure routine. Having an exercise program that you're following is going to give you some structure routine that's going to help you manage your addiction. When you're faced with challenges, you look at those challenges differently because you have overcome challenges in your daily life. Physical challenges take mental effort. When you have mental challenges, you now can approach it the same way and have success. The self confidence, the self worth, the tangible proof that you can do hard things, the every workout. Think about this. Every workout is an opportunity to win. And that is something that's very powerful. Every time you go do a workout, every time you say, I'm going to spend time trying to make my body better, you are winning in that circumstance. And you're building on top of that. Every time you do it, it's another win. That's a great way to progress forward. There's another aspect of it that's a little bit more scientific, and that is what we call somatic awareness or somatic experience. And that's the idea of being in touch with your body. So if you, you may have heard the phrase before, mind-body connection, and what that is, is basically being aware, having your mind be aware of what your body is doing, aware of what muscles are being used, aware of the positions 
and the the things you're doing with your body. That's where we get balance and coordination from. If you're having a hard time connecting with the internal things, go work out. It's going to give you the time and the space and the disconnection from other stimulus in your life that allows you the time and the space to do the internal work in your head. You're in a community now. You have now joined a community of people who are doing something to improve their quality of life. So you now have access to a bunch of people through different methods. Dr. Sybis has a network of people. I have a, a network of people. There's people out there online in groups, on Facebook, on Reddit, on social media, where you can talk to people and have something in common that you may not have had in common before. Because it doesn't take joining a gym. It doesn't take having a six pack to be part of the fitness community. All it takes is a desire to and doing the things to improve your physical ability. That's something else to think about. You have examples of other people who are going through the same things that you're going through. You can see that people are being successful. You have support. You have the, the, the understanding that you're not alone in this. There are other people that are going through the same challenge as you are. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September, 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's going to help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube, go to bodyconfidentbook.com. Improve mental function. This is a really cool one. The process of exercise actually helps your brain process fuel better and function better. So there's, uh, I don't know if you guys heard of nootropics or neurotropics, um, but there's a neurotropic called brain-derived neurotropic factor, BDNF, that when you exercise, particularly this, here's, a, here's another kicker. This is something I may talk about in the future, but more related to resistance training and high-intensity interval training, not related to cardio. So this is not about cardio. This is about moving your muscles and doing something that is physically challenging to do, like strength-wise. When you're doing things that are challenging to your body, your brain responds. And because your brain is what? Your brain is the control center of everything. So if you're stressing everything, your brain has to do more work. Basically, you are working your brain and making your brain better. When you exercise, there are hormones and proteins that are activated in your brain that improve brain function. So if you want to uh, have clarity, get rid of brain fog, all the benefits, some of the similar benefits we teach from being ketogenic, stress management is huge. It's, it could be one of the most important things because a lot of our triggers when it comes to addiction are stress related. Something bad happens, we have an emotional reaction, something triggers us and we react it with a habit loop. When you are better at managing stress, the triggers go down. When you are better at managing stress, you are better able to deal with the actions that you would normally take. You have an opportunity to take different actions and enforce different habits. So exercise allows for that. Exercise, what exercise is, is you are stressing yourself. It's a stress on the body. You are stressing yourself in a way and in an environment that you have 100% control of. So you can determine how much stress you want. How do I handle that stress? How do I recover from that stress? You are in control of the entire situation. What that does is it allows you to train your body, train your mind, train your thought processes, how to deal with stress. Find something that is physically challenging right now and find a way to make it easy. That's all you have to do. That is where you get started. There's a lot more down the road, but how you get started with improving your fitness, how you get started with starting to learn how to move your body, build some muscle, build some lean mass, improve that glycogen storage, improve, improve that insulin resistance, reduce your body fat, improve your metabolic efficiency. How you get started with all those things is just find something that is difficult right now and make it easy. If walking up the stairs is hard for you, do it until it's easy. Try to find a way to connect to other people that are doing it. If you can join a program that has something online, where you're following it online and maybe there's a community of people you can chat with, that's a great way to do it. Maybe you find a YouTube channel that has some exercises and there's comments, whatever you can do. If you can find a gym and you're, you're capable of going to a gym and doing something at a gym, join a gym, find a community, 
find some other people that you can share the experience with. That's super huge and super helpful. Being afraid and not trying it is one of the worst things you can do for your progress. It's okay to be afraid. There's nothing wrong with being afraid or being unsure or being anxious or apprehensive about trying something new. It's natural. Our body wants to keep us safe. Lizard brain wants to keep us in that comfort zone because we know in our comfort zone, nothing bad is going to happen. You need to step out of that and just try 1%. It's a little bit more. It's the most accessible thing you can do. Find the smallest thing that you can do that's a little bit more than what you're doing right now and just do that consistently for a while and see how you feel, see what happens. So that's it for now, for now, guys. If you have any questions, my information is at the bottom. You can always contact me. I just want to thank Dr. Sivas for giving me this opportunity to share with you guys. And what he's doing is fantastic. I'm very happy and honored to be working with him on this stuff. I'll see you guys soon. Hey there, did you know that I have a free community on Discord? If you go to discord.coachbronson.com, you can join my community, you can meet other people, you can engage in a group of individuals who are all searching for and having success in finding their context and the solutions that will work best for them. Hop yourself in there, discord.coachbronson.com. See you soon.